Welcome to Cookie Under Influence. Please place order now. What do you want? You order now. Ah, oh, ramen noodle. Very good. We make it on Cook Under Influence. See, during Cookie Under Influence, I get pissed off at hippies. Hello, welcome to Cooking Under the Influence. I am Sean, your host and chef du jour. What are we doing today? We're gonna make some lo mein noodles. I don't know if I ever had lo mein noodles when I was in China. I know I had noodles. First, before we start cooking, as all good chefs know, we need a drink. And drinks are just so good out of a mason jar. Today's drink is bourbon and diet coke. For these little tiny cans that are perfect for a drink, Mmm. I guess we'll just get cooking then. Shrimp tempura lo mein. I think it's a Chinese food. It's like an Americanized Chinese food. When you get them from a little Chinese place, there's all this mysterious flavor and like, what's that sauce and how do they do that? It is so unbelievably easy. Hang on, we'll see. First, we gotta get some veggies out the garden. Let me go to the garden and get some veggies. Just went to the garden. I got some green onions. God, they're giant. These are teensy little white eggplants. They were sold to me as black beauty eggplants. What's wrong with this picture? The great thing about lo mein is it's one of those dishes where you can just put whatever the hell you want in it. What's in your fridge? I don't even know what's in my fridge. Let's see. All right, I didn't even know I had this. Nice yellow pepper and a bag of mushrooms. That would be perfect though. You can do it all in one pot. Just get you a pot, all right? Pot. When you cut something on a bias, instead of just going like that, turn it a little sideways. Cut it sideways. So you get that slanty effect. And then people will think you're a really fancy schmancy chef, even though all you did was turn the vegetable a little bit. People will think you're fancy if you're lucky enough to have friends and not just some lonely guy that makes YouTube cooking videos. All right, get your little seeds out of your pepper. When you go to China, they have these little Restaurants, I'll call them a restaurant. Julian, your pepper, veggies, and meat, and mystery seafood, and mushrooms. God, they love their damn mushrooms over there. I grew this from a root. Now you just cut the root off, put it back in the garden, and you have another green onion. What, what the hell is that? It's a cycle of life. And you go pick out your vegetables, and your mushrooms, and your meat, if you want that. Okay, this is what I want. And they make a soup out of it. Is that lo mein? Is that Chinese lo mein? I don't know. Is it actual lo mein? Is it just soup? I don't know. And they carry their soup around in bags. Oniony part, I cut into little, small, whoops, like a bag of soup, plastic bag of soup. And then the green part, you make like an inch or two long, you know, fibrous material. A while back I decided I was going to start growing my own mushroom because they had this little kit at the grocery store. It was like 20 freaking bucks. So basically now I have a wet mushroom kit with no mushrooms. Now we have a big pot of veggies. And motherfucker, you drip brown water all over the floor. Get you some chicken stock, beef stock, vegetable stock. You can use broth. Nobody cares. All we have so far is basically vegetable soup. So what are we gonna do? How do we make it lo mein? Get you some soy. Nice little bit of that in there. Oyster sauce. I don't know why it's called oyster sauce. Take your little oyster sauce and put you a few good globs of that in there. The oyster sauce is the key ingredient. Oh, it has oyster juice in it. And it gives that dark, earthy, smoky taste. Yes, as we know, no friggin' foreign crazy ass dish would be complete without a dollop of garlic in there. <laughs> Don't eat garlic by itself. <laughs> Time for a refill. I like to, my calorie intake to be nutritious. I don't eat snacks. So if you're gonna be eating 500 calories or something, make it nutritious. Don't just sit there and munch on a bag of chips. Make it a diet soda, because you're supposed to have, what, 2,000 calories a day, something like that? Why waste it on a damn soda? Ooh, this is smelling great already. 
young. Don't ever ask anyone their opinion about anything having to do with the government in China. I'm gonna make some shrimp lo mein. So we're gonna get some nice fresh Louise. Motherfucker. Oh my god, they look around like the frickin' KGB is coming to get them, or the Chinese equivalent of the KGB. Pull the head off, twist. And apparently, the Chinese equivalent of the KGB is coming to get them. Leggy parts there, peel it off around the shrimp. Hey lo mein, you need lo mein noodles. You actually don't need lo mein noodles. You can use any damn noodles you want to use. Pinch the tail, and then you're good. Motherfucker. These are Chinese egg noodles, just because, why not? These come in cute little nests. And just let it cook in the hot, soupy thing. Now why am I putting the noodles in the veggies? How am I going to strain it? I'm not going to strain it. All that extra starch that leaches out from the noodles, that's going to make that sauce nice and thick. Oh, I see. In your lo mein, put some chicken, put some pork, put some beef, put some frickin' whatever. Ooh. You want to saute your shrimp and then dump them in the lo mein? Perfect. But I actually have some special plans for my shrimp here. Of course, I have to be all difficult and fancy and shit. I'm going to attempt tempura. I've never done tempura anything before. So, do a little pot. Put your oil in there. Get you some flour, some all-purpose flour. Uh, and a half a cup of that. Get you some rice flour. Oh, all I could find was the organic brown rice, gluten-free flour. Get you a half a cup of rice flour. I've said it before on here. The only reason that you need to have gluten-free shit is if you have celiac disease. It's going to egg yolk. In all my years of being alive on this earth, I've met exactly one person that has celiac disease and can't have gluten. Separate your egg yolk. I've showed you how. Go look at my Eggs Benedict video. I don't remember the recipe exactly, but we're going to use a little salt. Sure, why not? Ice cold water. I put this in the freezer to get it nice and chilly. And it's going to be super duper lumpy. That's fine. You want it lumpy. This may be a big fail. I don't know. Oh, I can't have gluten. Oh, my child, he reacts terribly when he has gluten. Dry your shrimp. The batter holds on to the shrimp way better when you dry your shrimp. Gluten, all it is, is the freaking protein that holds bread together. It's the stuff that makes bread or pasta or whatever holdy together. This recipe apparently uses a lot of paper towels. Maybe the carbohydrates. Drain the shrimp after we're done tempura-ing it. Drink to drink. Humanity has gone on for thousands of years subsisting on grains and gluten and bread. Put them in the batter. Coal batter. Try and keep it coal. Apparently that's like the big deal key thing here. You don't have fucking celiac disease. You... Is this how it's supposed to be? Okay, whatever. It's not going to kill you. It's not some giant government conspiracy. You want to do this real quick. You don't want to leave your shrimp in there for freaking ever. I do have a problem with genetically modified organism foods. But you know what? What the fuck are you going to do? Really hot. So your shrimp fry quickly. This is so much fun. Is it going to turn out great? Is it going to turn out shitty? I don't know. I was kind of dreading doing this one because it would be a pain in the ass. But it's a blast. Who can really argue with friggin' fried shrimp? I mean, geez, even if it turns out shitty, it's still wonderful. Nice and hot. Boily, roly boily right there. Shrimp tempura. Tempura. Mushrooms, peppers, beans, gluten-free, oh yay. Mm, not bad. Could have stayed in a little longer. Last batch. Forgive me for the uh, 
Japanese tempura mixed with the Chinese lo mein. So we're going to call this fusion cooking. I'm the guy that brings the world together. Fusion cooking, like soul food and Indian food. Hmm. You have you can get like 2,000 calories per day. White trash food and African food. Make it something good, not damn chips or McDonald's. God, don't get me started on fucking McDonald's or Pap if you're from the north. Oh, Christ. I need another um, bourbon and diet pack. Perfect. God, I love these little cans. Okay, the last thing we're going to do for our little man noodles, we're going to add some bean sprouts. Yes, I know, bean sprouts are hippie food. I'm not a hippie, but you know what? Some hippie food is actually pretty decent. Ooh, these look better than the other ones. Awesome. Couple of tempura shrimp. I'm going to go for the tempura dipping sauce. Why not? I don't know how this is going to turn out. Oh my god. That's delicious. Let's try the noodles with a little bit of tempura shrimp in there. Woo! All right. Amaze your friends. Impress your family with your tempura skills. That turned out really good. And your lo mein, Chinese lo mein stuff. Really good. Until next time, I'm Sean. Adios and bon appetit. Goodbye, Mama Shrimp. Papa, shake my hand. Here come the shrimp boat for.